to drop in and just in time for a song. Leaning down through the gates, watch the nights suffocate all the lies that smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your humorous air. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're the yin to my yang, can't you see? What is up all you comic book fans, it's a comic book villain coming to you with another comic book haul. This is my 259th comic book haul for February 24, 2021. I hope everybody makes out to local LCS's, gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. Let's put the three jokers back. Uh, of course, it was a quick turnaround. I did a video yesterday on the books I got that came in from last week. So now I'm doing a video for the books that came in this week. Of course, they sent me home in the diamond box. As always, let's go ahead and get this on the road again. This one isn't very big. This receipt's not very big at all. I can do it in one hand, one, two, one, without having to drop it easily. Um, this one's lighter than it was uh, yesterday. But I do know one thing for sure is uh, I'm trying to fold my receipt up perfectly. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, put that right there. There was a couple of weird things going on. Oh, dang it. Oh, just trying to get them out. I'm trying to get all the box, all the books out. Oh, there's my list that I take with me. All right, made it on my desk. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this. This is this is actually issue uh, number three. This is Batman. And this is a C. This is the B cover. There was a C cover, I think. This is Batman. Uh, black and white. That's the B cover right there. And then there is the awesome looking A cover. Do not know why I got that. I got that for cover price, of course, which cover price is six bucks, five ninety nine. But love the interior artwork. Show it to y'all a little bit. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to crank on the book too much because this is a square bound book. And of course, after you open it too far, you will put creases or cracks in the spine but they were um of course i got mine for, for cover price but um the ones that were on the shelf they they bagged and boarded them and they put them at 15.99 do not know why but they did this one right here save for last this right here all of these go last all of these they'll go second to last Put those right there. Alrighty, cool. Alright, here's a new one right here. Uh, this is Chasing the Dragon. That is a, this is number one. They only have one available cover for it. Ooh. The artwork looks cool. I like the artwork. She's smoking a, a big old cigar. She lit up that doobie. Wow, the artwork in here looks totally awesome. Wow, look at this wicked guy in his eyeball. Totally awesome artwork. Can't wait to read this. Uh oh, naked girl. Oh man, chopped off somebody's head right there. Now somebody's eyes are going glowing green. Somebody's got the gamma. Somebody's got the gamma in them. So that is a new one that came out. Can't wait to read that one right there as well. And then this one, oh, I've been digging this one, been enjoying. This is three or four. This is Calm, a song of Ari and Vance, Vince, 
Vance. I don't know why I said Vance. I was thinking of uh, Vance from the Reba show. I like I like that show, Reba. That guy's an idiot. He's funny. So that is number three of four. I think there was like three or four covers for this one. I only I only wanted him to pull me this one. This is the crossover. I believe this is the B. And of course they show in the in the midtown they showed where they had it this covered. You know, it's supposed to be like a I guess like a top secret. Not top secret, but whatever. Spoil cover, top secret cover, whatever. Uh holy shit are you? Madame. Hell yeah. Well let's see who Madame is. Oh god damn, I think I went too many books. I mean too many books. Oh, what's this clown? Oh, Madman. I don't know why I said Madame. Are you Madman? Yes, it is. He's in here. But I've been digging this crossover right there. Yes, sir. Let's see what else. Okay, everybody's up on this one too. This has been good. There was only two covers. They didn't have a. They usually have a one in ten, and I think maybe a one in twenty, one twenty-five. I think, but I know they usually have a one in ten because I usually get it. But this time, they only had an A and B cover. This so, but this is the A cover of uh, the Department of Truth. Been loving this story as well. But like I said, they usually have. And I've been getting all the the one in. I've been getting all the one in ten covers as well, but. Like I said, they didn't have one this time. That was only an A and a B cover. This is number two. This is Devil's Domain. Right here. Love this cover. Look at that cover. I'm loving that cover right there. I love that orange and red looking right there. Interior art. This reminds me. These old like this and the way this drawing is. It reminds me of the 90s when, the, when uh, they first came out. With the image, this is how their paper was, real nice. The, the the art was just awesome, like this. All their books, like that, and you know, Wildcats, you know, Gen 13, Spawn, of course. Uh, who else? I collect, man. I got them all, you know. Of course, uh, what else? Team Seven, all of them. I used to collect them all. I used to have them all. Well, I still have them all. Not used to, but well, I used to collect them all. But I have, still have them all too as well. But that is pretty cool. That's Devil's Demon number two right there. Now this right here. Hold on real quick. And just to let y'all know, I'll, I'll be ta I'll be saying it. I did leave about 10 books in my box uh, because I had just picked up comics yesterday too so I spent a lot of money yesterday and then today as well so this one right here uh, this one right here I did leave the B cover I do have it but I left the B cover in the box because this is I think this one was $5.99 the other one is $6.99 this one has a bunch of uh, first appearances in it this one has a first appearance of Rowan, Rowan Kent. Uh, he's supposed to be the new Superman, and he's the son of John Kent. And then there is a a Wana Wana Kent, which is a blue a uh, new Blue Lantern, which is the daughter of John Kent. And then there's a first appearance of the new uh, of not the new, yeah of the Red King, and I think a first appearance of of. Uh, the Black Racer, I think it was. Star Map. So, there was quite a few first appearances in here. So, if you haven't gone to your LCS and you're looking to see what first appearances are out, this one has quite a few in there. I'm trying to see where the... Oh, there's the blue lantern right there. I 
guess that's that racer. Yeah, black racer. You shouldn't have come back, black racer. And it says, not even God's outrun their sins. Hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. Wow, that's cool. Well, can't wait to get into that one right there. Yes, sir. Like I said, that one has quite a few first appearances in that one. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Getting, let me get all these out of there real fast. I'm getting kind of thick. Oh, yeah, and I'm sporting that nice lady death right there. With awesome cover. And then, of course, the, the In Hockey League covers. These are the second printings of, Car of Gwenham Carnage. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Those are the second printings, and that's also the first appearance of uh, what MJ as 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 Carnage. Excuse me, <laughs> my mind almost drew a blank. This one right here. I know some of the online stores were sold out of this one already. This one right here is Voices Legacy One. This is the what is this? This is the F cover according to the numbers on this book. It's the F cover. Variant edition has the Miles Morales on it. I did get two. I actually have, I think, the D cover as well, but I left that one in my box. I went ahead and left that one. Like I said, I left about 10 books in my box because. Because I spent a lot yesterday, and then today I had to go spend more again. So. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Venom. Alright, let's see what's up next. Okay. I, mean, I, just, I, think, I know there's A, B, and a C cover. Let's see. This is the C. And this is the B. Okay, the A covers I didn't pick up. This is Ninjas and Robots, number four. Look at that booty. Boop, 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 boop. Put a little bit more. A little bit more action. Put some little pimples on there. Make it look real. And then look at this one. This one looks cool as hell. Right there. She's got a little bit of uh, Tank Girl and a little bit of Harley Quinn looking going on right there. <clears throat> this has been a fun read. Like I said, it has a big, real big time Tank Girl vibe inside the artwork. This has just been, just been an enjoyable read. So that is Ninjas and Robots number four. Now let's see. Alrighty. And here is another one, just in case. This is a f uh, another first appearance in here. This is John Walker's U.S. Agent number three. This has a full, according to it, it's the full appearance of the new, uh, of the new U.S. agent. Uh, so, I guess he had a cameo. But they're saying this is his first full appearance of the new, of the new U.S. agent. Master. Master Blaster. So, if you're looking for another one, that one also, another key. That one also has a first appearance in it as well. Alright, let's see what was coming up next. What's coming up next? Oh, yeah. These beautiful ones. Yeah. Oh. Right here. Vengeance of Vampirella number 15. Yes, sir. That's my boy Perillo. Look at that beautiful looking artwork right there. Beautiful. And then we got, this is the uh, Ben Oliver cover right here. He just does some real nice smooth looking covers. And then this one was, I forgot who this one was, but this is a real nice one as well. 
looking extremely sexy up there and then of course you know how the villain do villain gotta get that photo cover flip through this one real quick like I said I do read this one uh oh they're, they're talking talking after sex uh, you just jump, shut the hell up go to sleep time to go to sleep oh oh somebody came in there wow that's jacked up it's like the black widow after sex boom kills him can't wait till that one comes out vampirella versus purgatory there's a lot of hot covers coming out boom oh man somebody stabbed her good he stabbed her and then he stabbed her he stabbed her with the sharp object and a not so sharp object Ooh. so he was just he was just stibbity stabbing in well can't wait to read that one so that is Vengeance of Vampirella number 15 right there let's see what we got here oh here's a new one man I can't believe I didn't get two of them I usually get two of the new ones when they're brand new this is the I know they had a uh, I think a 1 in 10 or one, maybe a 1 in 25. This is Nuclear Family. Cardboard uh, cover. I remember reading the gist on this and I was like, yep, I, I want to get that. Read it. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Tom Arnold. <laughs> so... This is supposed to be a family, something after the nuclear, a nuclear blast and stuff like that. Can't wait to read that one. This is from After Aftershock Comics right there. <clears throat> Let's see, what's this one? Oh, this one was strictly just covered by... This is supposed to be the... Um, I think out of the next few issues... Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Eric Larson is doing some of these covers. I think this is... This, 1960s cover 70s cover i forgot there's two covers there's an a cover and a b and i think next month or one that i did see he's doing he's doing like uh, i guess throwback issues where they have the different things let me see this should be the b cover right this is two yep this is the b cover i think this is the I forgot is it the 1960 or 1970 Let's see what it says. I'm trying to open it up. Let's see. Okay, colors. Uh, uh, by no, it doesn't say anything here. Producer Larson. Oh man, Jesus Christ. She's got some. She got some Bahama Mamas up in there. She's like, I can't believe she ain't nipping. <laughs> No pants are the best. What? No, no pants are the best pants. <laughs> well, she ain't got no pants on. This is this is a crazy book. If y'all haven't read these these books, these are crazy books. I'm trying to see. Let me see in the back if they say anything about. Uh, the covers, I doubt it. Uh, well, even the last page has, has something on it, but nope. But like I said, he's doing some 1970s. Oh, they're all thick. Let me move this. Uh oh, I just moved the camera. He's doing like 1970. I don't know if this was the 70 or the 60. And I know the next one is supposed to be the next year. So, and then, oh, this is number two. Number one was nice was awesome this is also by black box comics this is shy no cage no cage uh, I like these samurai looking stories oh man look at that looks like he's fighting a big uh, a big ass splinter he's a wolf that's a wolf right yep looks more like a wolf not no rat you little rat bastard Oh man, I don't know what he is. Now this dude's got horns. Hmm. Pretty cool. Oh man, stabbing him in the throat. Uh oh. She got baby. She got baby. 
Oh, the girl naked. She wants to get some. After a fight, after a near death experience. They say the, the sex is good. I guess I have to believe them. That is badass right there. Yes, sir. Can't wait to read that one. That is number two right there. Okay, let's see. Which one is next? Oh, man, this has been a while. I've been waiting for this damn thing to come out. Whew, had this thing on order for a good while now. This was in my box right here. This is Skull Digger and Skeleton Boy. This is the A cover right there. There's the B cover with both of them on it. Man. Oh, oh, oh. I just knocked down Mr. Joker. Mr. Joker, get your ass on your feet, Mr. Joker. Oh, fell down again. You stupid. I'm on a bitch. I keep knocking me down. Sorry, keep moving this. Let's see. Man, I might have to go back and read uh, a couple of issues because, man, I forgot what the hell's going on in here. It's been so long. Cool. Big old white blank sheet. Hmm. So this was issue number six. I have to go back and read maybe four and five just to refresh it up. Oh, okay. This one right here was uh, Stray Dogs. Uh, there was an A cover that I thought was cool too, but I only had him pull me the B cover. Of course, this is a homage cover to uh, Silence of the Lambs with Clarice. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow, it looks cool. <laughs> All the doggies. I think it, that's supposed to be a, maybe a Rottweiler. That's my doggy right there. That's my doggy. Oh, man, can't wait to read this. It's all nothing but dogs. Should I might, might end up picking up that A cover. I know they'll still have A covers. Because there was quite a few on the shelf. But, of course, I wanted to get this one for sure. That is the homage cover. Wow, it looks pretty cool. Called Stray Dogs, number one. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. And I do have... Uh, this one, like I said, I did get two, one of, two of each. But I left both one of each of them in, the, in my box. This is Two Moons. This one looks pretty cool. I remember that is the B cover right there. Look at that nice looking B cover. Remember reading what the hell was it about? No, I was trying to remember. That sucks. Because I read a lot of the stuff, what they're about, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. I want it. But then, god dang it, I forgot what this is about. Of course, you know, you look the way it takes place back in the, like, Civil War era. The South will rise again. Come on, baby. Oh man, that looks pretty cool. Looks like a scene. We used to play with the little army. With the little army men. Of course, I used to have the little, growing up, I had the little, you know, the little plastic army men. Looked like they were made out of uh, wax or whatever you want to call it. I had the army men and we had the cowboys and Indians. And we had the little, my parents had bought us. It was like a whole, like, I guess not an activity scene, but a whole scene. It was like a mountain and stuff like that. So you place the Indians and the Cowboys on it. It was pretty bad. I wish I had those things now. But, of course, four boys, we just dest we destroyed shit. We didn't save it. Next issue on sale, March 31st. Wow, look at that crazy looking thing. Well, can't wait to read that one. That one looks pretty darn good to me. I'll tell you that right now. Alrighty. And then these were this is the what printing is this? Is the third printing of Daredevil. Of course, this is also the first appearance of uh, damn every time I think about it, I always want to say Carmen Electra. Okay. Uh, this is Electra uh, as uh, Daredevil, becoming Daredevil. First time, first appearance, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then, this one right here is, uh, this is the second, yeah, second printing. This is Dr. Afra second printing. And I know there is a significant, I forgot what 
Was there a first appearance in here or something? Dang it, trying to remember. <clears throat> Let's put that there. Got those. Man. Uh, what was it? I know there was something about it, and I know I would... Those came out last week. I got them already. There's some cool books coming out next week. Some real cool ones. Oh man, I got, got a butt face on him. Man, I try to remember what it was. What I know there's something going on with that book right there. I know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. And then, alrighty. Let me go ahead and move those real quick. They're kind of thick already. Alrighty. And here's another new one. After I read it, I said, yeah, I want to get it. This is by The Horns, number one, by Scout Comics. Apparently, this girl goes around and... Oh, man. I love the interior work. She goes around and she kills uh, unicorns, apparently. Wow, that is pretty cool. Love the interior artwork. I do not know how many of those covers they bought because they told me they only had one. Go, we only have one. And if I wanted it, I told them, "Yep, this is this is one in ten. Uh, the one in ten cover." So I told them, "Yeah, I'll take it. That is a nice looking cover right there." Boom! She fucking stabbed somebody. Wow. So I told him, yes, sir, I'll take it. And then, of course, this was also, this is, this is always in my box. Always, always, always. This is Spawn 315 right here. Yes, sir. Boom. This is, I guess, the first appearance of Plague Spawn. Uh, boom. So, yes, two of the A covers got first appearance in it of Plague Spawn. Nice looking cover as well right here. This is the B cover. Boom. Two of those bad boys right there. Yes, sir. And then this cover is just wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. And I, I don't know why, but uh, Midtown had them limited. Those two were, I guess, by as whatever amount they had. You know, you can buy them until they sold out. But this one, since they came up last week, when they were on there, they were limit one. This is, I believe this is the C, is this the Todd McFarlane cover? I'm trying to remember. Or did he do that cover? Oh no, he did that one. Him and Greg Capullo did that one. I'm trying to remember who in the hell did this one. But that is a nice wicked cover. Got two of these bad boys too. And then there was like, they had a sketch cover that, oh, I forgot how much it was drawing, like 75 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. And then they did have a black and white of the McFarlane, um, McFarlane Greg Capullo cover. So, and look, they were upcharging on this thing. I was like, what? I said, you're crazy. But, of course, they had them bagged and, and priced already. So, when they pulled it for me, they put it in there. But, of course, they didn't charge me that. I got it for, I got it for regular price. But I just, you know, they didn't want to take it out of the box. And this was a one in five Jesus Christ, one in five for ten bucks. I can see him because their books normally two ninety nine. I can see him charging four ninety nine. You know, five nine. It was one in five. You get a shitload of these if you order. You know, which people order a lot of uh, spawn. It's not like it was a one in ten, but like I said, that's them. That's them, buddy. I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Oh, yeah, that was my last one. I thought I had some more, but that was my last one, guys. Um, shit, let me see what else. Oh, I got to get you. I got to get you a cover of the week. You know what? Let me see. Let me see. Where's my cover of the week? Cover of the week. Let's see, it might be that spawn, but I'm just going to look through here real fast. These are doubles. I mean, not doubles, those are... That's a nice looking cover there. That's okay there. That's okay, that's okay. 
just looking to see here if there is a now and don't get me wrong this one was all right but now nah, I'm not gonna put it in there First appearance in that thing. You know what? This is gonna get it right here. Yes, sir. Back to back weeks that my my boy Perillo, my boy Lucio Perillo got cover of the week on my for me. Right there, cover of the week. Yes, sir. By Perillo. Alrighty guys, that was my 259th uh, comic book haul for February 24, 2021. Like I said, remember, hopefully everybody makes it out to local LCSs, gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. Um, remember, stay safe, social distancing, everything. Coronavirus is still out there, but for some reason... Uh, a week ago, all last week, I never heard nothing about coronavirus. It was all about no power, no water, and everything here in Texas. So I think for that week, corona disappeared. <laughs> but remember, guys, social distancing, wash your hands, but most importantly, wash your ass. Thanks for watching. Comic Book Villain out. Laters.